This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, good morning. Hi everyone, welcome on into North Dakota Today. My name is Ashlyn Hill. And I'm Jordan Schreyer filling in on your couch this morning Woo! here. We should just call this the Valley Today Takeover. It sure is. Lisa Green, get in here. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> the fourth hour of the she Valley Today. She is in today. the corner of the studio though. <laughs> well, she was just on one minute ago, if yeah. even two minutes ago. Speaking giving of, us an update. are we okay? No. Are you guys all right? No. Winter just won't leave. I had a slight meltdown yesterday. I'm being serious. Like when I came home mm -hmm. after work and I saw the plow went by and had created a ridge, yep. you know, in front of my driveway and I live on a corner. So in front of the other thing, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I was like, I have, I swear I have shoveled or snow blowed two to three times a week. Seriously. For the past two months and the ridges aren't small. No, they are mountains and they are hard mm -hmm. and heavy and yeah. the snowblower doesn't want to go through them. And I just said, nope, not today, not today. And I drove over it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I crushed it with my truck. And then I drove over it and I said, we're going to wait on you. Yeah, so, give that one a beat. Yeah, we're going to see if today I feel inspired to do it. Yeah, uh, or if now I just want to wait for whatever is to come our way to move through right. and then do one fell swoop. Yeah, because that's cleaning. the trick on us by Mother Nature that it's not over yet. And that's how it's last weekend was the same thing too. Mm -hmm. We had on Friday we had to deal with it and then on Saturday and then it was Saturday night into Sunday morning and I did it then too. I said, no, 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 we're only doing this once. <laughs> so you get it all out right now and then I'll come clean it up. I like how you took to social media, though. Didn't you tweet about that? I sure did tweet about yeah, it because right, I felt like Twitter. it uh, Jordan, needed, get serious. It needed to Dear happen. Dear diary. <laughs> XOXO. Today, <Gossip> Girl. <laughs> I couldn't stand the snow, and I'm telling you all about it myself. I, it really was. I had like a slight existential crisis about yeah. it because well, you're not alone. it was. Yeah, it just it feels like a, a never ending like beat down. Like you, you clear it and then yeah. it gets full again and then you clear it and it gets full again and you're like, this, I'm done with this. No, I couldn't agree more. I shared a funny meme yesterday just trying to laugh through crying so I wouldn't have to, <laughs> so my tears wouldn't freeze in the cold. Uh, and I, it, it just was this funny joke and it said, I'm ready to complain about summer instead of complaining about winter, which I won't complain when summer gets here, just FYI. Oh, I make no promises. Oh, I'm looking forward to the heat. I, same, I'm however, a summer gal. you give me a, an August day of 105 or something like that nope well don't I worry can't. I'll celebrate for you with my kiddie pool in your backyard oh yeah that's right we got to figure out the spot Jordan's the only one I who, who I know who has a yard <laughs> so I got to con him into letting me kill a patch of his grass which yep. is a big deal for him well, because I had to regrow my entire yes, lawn last year so now I'm seriously. very protective over yes. it understandably uh, so but I'll, I'll let a little Three by just three to fill up. circle. I just go. I also need the hose and, That's and your okay. water bill That's to okay. increase a tiny bit. <laughs> what I'll do is I, I water my flowers every day. I'll just go out there and dip my watering can in it, and then just go like water my flowers okay, with perfect. it too. So that's my summer plans. <laughs> yeah, all right, we're getting ready. The funniest part was when I shared that online, though, somebody said, Ashlyn, are you from the South? Is that why winter's so tough? And I was like, absolutely not, sir. I'm from Michigan. I just can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, even yesterday, I was talking to somebody, uh, and we were talking about the cold weather, and I said, yeah, a few days ago, Lisa was mentioning how we have spent 100-some-plus days, I can't yes. remember the exact number, but 100-some-plus days uh -huh. below 40 degrees yes. so far this winter. And I said, so uh, yeah, that that's a really fun thing, you know, ha ha ha, <laughs> joke joke. And the person, L -L. yeah, the person I was talking to uh, didn't know that I was from here. And they're like, how long have you been working in Fargo? Yeah. And I said, well, I've been at this job for five years now, but I was born and raised here. Uh -huh. They're like, oh, that's how you put up with it. And I said, well, mm. <laughs> do we? Dear diary, <laughs> dear social media diary, in my misery, I will share it with you. Misery loves company. Yeah, I was like, uh, I mean, we, we do get used to it, but yet, I don't know. It's you do, okay, you do, but then yeah. you just get over it. See, and look. Okay, here's a look around. You do need to be careful, though. My gosh, it's icy. Yeah, and more and more folks making their way into the station are telling us it is getting... Yeah, glaringly more and more ice. And this has not been a good winter for me for mm -hmm. ice. I have fallen on the ice three times now. You have. Oh. 
I'm serious. I responded. I forgot. I hear about these each time. They <laughs> yeah, happen. every time it happens. I was happens. like, when? And then I'm like, well, there's there's an update. There's a plethora. <laughs> yeah, there's every, a variety of, of times that he has fallen onto the ice. Yeah, every time I come in, I'm like, oh gosh, I'm sore today. I fell yesterday. Most of it's my fault. It's um, the cowboy boots. Folks. It is. They have no traction. They are not so ready for winter. They just woo, and there we go. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, off of off of the snow. We, well, we you know, get off that subject. we could talk about that for the entire hour here, yes, but we, really we, we're we sure you're doing that at home as well, yep. so we won't take up more of that time. Mm -hmm. I do want to talk about this, though. This is a fun one. Labrador Retrievers, no longer America's favorite dog breed. Aww. That came as a shock. Yeah. For the first time in 31 years, America's favorite dog is now the French Bulldog. I just want to say that's according to the statistics of how many are owned sold yes bread, registered yes registered so the american kennel word. club released the stats and this was based on more than 716,000 puppies and other dogs newly registered last year so 2022 mm -hmm. and we are learning that frenchies can cost around five thousand dollars Ooh, that's a lot of money for a friend <laughs> that's what i'm saying don't yeah. forget to rescue yes don't forget I think that's great and you know what if you have your heart set on a certain breed mm -hmm. uh, and I know a lot of people do because you might live in a small space or you might yeah. need a hypoallergenic yeah. uh, dog or, or something like that uh, <laughs> however a lot of shelters have dogs that are you know they can be purebred in different varieties yeah. so you just gotta uh, always check see. around yeah no, I think that's a great idea too. Do a visit. I love how you said that. Uh, and I'm I'm a big fan. I grew up out in the country. I'm a big fan of just like the farm mutt. <laughs> the mix. Yeah. Coming the, on in. Whatever shows up in the yard is now family. Yeah. The neighbor dog and the neighbor dog got together. They made other dogs, and now that's <laughs> that's what you got. And now we have puppies. <laughs> yeah, Anyone exactly. want one? They're free. Seriously, that's, <laughs> growing up, that's how we got all of our dogs. It was some neighbor yeah. that was like, well, the dog had pups and you want one? And yeah, I like, feel like that's okay. typical. For me growing up, we always had kittens. There was always cats and oh. kittens being born around the neighborhood. Always. Including some under our porch one time. Yes. Yep. Kittens will appear anywhere. Yeah, they really, we always, we still actually just have random cats in my parents' yeah. house too out in the country. They yep. just arrive. And then they become family. Yep. The stork brought them. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> fun stuff. Yeah. A lot coming up, though. We're gonna we're gonna leave now. Take your deep breaths along with us. We're gonna make our way, sure enough, inch by inch through this show, minute by minute, shovel In by shovel. Yeah, <laughs> temperature by temperature. Get there. <laughs> coming up on today's show, we're still celebrating Women's History Month, and it is going strong for the month of March. I spoke with a woman really focused on women-owned businesses and why that is important moving forward for yeah. our economic future. It sure is. A up great first, story. though, our local steals and deals.